What's going on, Jesus people? It's your boy, Kid, man, coming through. Hey, I just want to talk to you for a moment about people that have hopes and dreams and visions for, you know, their future and uh, that are, you know, that they feel like God has called them to do something in their life. And, you know, I just want to encourage you today and tell you, if you're like me and you've, you know, you've put in you know, hours and hours and days and, and invested years of your life into what you know is your calling, but you've, you know, struggled and struggled and, you know, you've, you've seen progress, but then you feel like you've fallen back or you, or you feel like you've gotten to the point where you're like, oh man, I'm ready for the next step. And, you know, things have, uh, haven't materialized the way you want. I mean, I just want you to know right now today that your success is not dependent on man. That is not true. Your success is dependent on the Father and what and what He can do in your life. And that goes to say that uh, you need Him to make the things around you work. You need Him to put the people in place, to to make the resources happen. Um, and uh, I, I know what it's like to be able to, to put so much work in and not have um, the, to not have the return come as fast as you expect, but we have to always remind ourselves that our time isn't on God's time, and there's always a lot that, you know, that comes to uh, fruition later on that you realize, oh, you know what, God, I'm so thankful that you didn't allow this to happen at this point because I had to learn a lot between, and learning can consist of so many things, uh, but what I wanted to say is I just want to encourage you to keep pushing, keep fighting, keep going. Don't stop what you're doing. Um, you're on the right path. If you know in your heart that this is what God has called you to do, then don't stop. Keep running with it. Eventually, you're going to break through because you know he's ordained it. You know it's come from him. You can't fall. And also, too, if it's in your heart to do, then you won't give up anyway. That's just the bottom line. You won't, you will not stop because you don't know what else to do with your life. You know that's the only thing that makes you happy. And if it's truly from him and it's truly real in your heart, you won't stop. You just can't. It's just, it's not even a question for you. It can be done. You don't have to have the best resources. You don't have the best tech, the best uh, um, uh, people surrounding you. It's, it doesn't come down to that. It comes down to your will. It comes down to how much you want it and how much it means to make God happy because you know what you're doing is for him, right? I'll tell you firsthand experience right now that uh, I'm just being real with you, that I never had the best stuff. I've never had the best tech. I've never had the best, um, you know, oh, I've got record label behind me or I've got this stuff behind me or whatever. No, you know what? You know what? I made the best of what I had. I made the most of what I had in the moment. And because of that, it caught, it, it taught me what, what grinding really is, what hard work really is and what, how much it really takes to get from point A to point B to point C. There is no such thing as I'm doing this today and tomorrow I'm going to wake up and it's all going to be straight. It does not work that way. Um, you have to really put time and effort and days and hours and years of your life, your life into this. If it's really, truly what you want to do with your life and, and if it's really about him, then it'll come to fruition. It just takes time. Just for your benefit and I, this is not me boasting i'm just telling you things that have happened in my life without having the best of the best because my willpower because i wanted it so badly i'm a verified artist on facebook and on spotify i have a blue check on both of those pages little old me from Sherrill, south carolina you know i have over 150,000 plays on spotify over 100,000 plays now on youtube um, I've been invited to New York City to be on the radio. I went to New York. I was invited. I stayed in Manhattan and I was on the radio. How awesome is that? But I did all of that without having a MacBook Pro at the time. I didn't, I did all of that like without having the best supporting cast. I did all that without having a record label. What, what I'm saying is that I did all this because my heart was determined to make it happen. Because I knew in my heart this is what God wanted for my life and I was not going to stop with what I was doing. You can do the same thing. There's no sense in you ever, ever for a moment thinking that you can't do it because you can. You can. And if you're giving it to him, then it's already it's already ordered for you. The steps have been ordered. You just got to walk the steps. Keep praying, keep studying, keep investing yourself into him, and it's all going to work out for you. I promise you. Let me tell you something else. 
My last album, Reinvent, I made that entire album, catch this, with an iPad. An iPad. Yes, you heard that correctly. I did that with an iPad. Now, I did go to a number of studios in between there to get a lot of things done that I couldn't get done, but I'm telling you, working on an iPad was not easy. I stayed up many, many, many nights working a 40-hour-a-week job, coming home at midnight, and spending hours into the morning working on this thing, mixing, recording, writing. I spent two years, two whole years doing that because I wanted it so badly. And you know what? You can actually go and get that CD in a physical, like professional case, professionally recorded, professionally written, mastered. It's on Amazon, Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, anything in the world you can think of. My album and my all of my music is there now because I wanted it so bad. So what I'm saying is you don't have to have the best of the best of the best. All you have to have is the willpower and all you have to have is God in your life. Because I'm going to tell you, there were some times there where I felt like I didn't have anybody. Like I felt like I was doing this on my own and nobody wanted to believe in me because I was just another guy from Sheraw, right? Small town. But the truth is, is that you don't need those people. All you need is God. And he can break through. He can break boundaries. All you have to do is pray big. Pray boldly. Don't pray for small things. Don't pray for like, oh God, I hope you help me get through this. No. Pray for big things. Say, I want to be the next president of the United States. Say, I want to be the CEO of a corporation. In my case, I said, God, I want to release an album and I want it to reach hundreds of thousands of people. I want to perform on stages and reach thousands of people. Well, you know what? I prayed that and I prayed that and I prayed that and I want it so bad that I'm at that point now where that's actually coming to fruition. My dreams are coming to fruition. And um, here's another thing. You see this MacBook right here? I just got this. I just got this like, I don't know, not too long ago, right? So I haven't always had the best of the best. I'm just putting it right here today to say, hey, you can do it. You don't have to have the best. It really and truly does come down to your heart and what's inside of your heart. I know sometimes you probably look at other people and you're thinking, man, this person has all these things and this person has all this going for them. But you know what? You can't put your, you can't compare and contrast yourself with those things. You have to do you. And you have to do what you know is right in your heart and follow what you know God has, the plan God has for you. Trust in the Lord. Trust in what he has for you. Our God is mighty, man. He is the He is the resurrection. He is the savior of our world. And if you're following him, if he is your leader, you can't lose. If he is your boss, you cannot lose. You know, man will fail you, but God will not fail you. And that's all I got to say. Oh, and one last thing. This video, like I did all my videos, I did this video on my iPhone. It's edited right here and there. Now, starting today, that will never be the case again. But I just wanted you to know that if you want it bad enough, you can make it happen. God bless you. I love you. Kid out.